What's up you guys? Today we're in Tennessee and I always hear that they say Mexican food in the South isn't very good. Let's go find out for ourselves. Come on. I'm checking out their menu here and I noticed that it says on Wednesdays they do hand roll tamales. What day is it today, Jake? It's Wednesday, baby. Let's get some tamales. Don't smoke that. Oh, those perros is a Nashville. We gotta get that for. Hey, how are you? Hi, what's up? I'm doing good. Uh, can I get two pulled pork tacos, two cast iron chicken tacos, two spicy carne molida tacos, two fried tilapia tacos, one elote, uh, one sweet plantain, two hand rolled tamales. What's inside? Two, two of the hand rolled tamales. What's inside of those? Chicken tikka. Okay, sweet. I think we got basically everything here. And then What's two. Your name? I'm Brennan. Brennan. And you? I'm Lauren. Lauren, nice to meet you. And then we have to do two dos perros. Dos dos perros. <laughs> Are you guys eating here or to go? For here. For here. Pretty much one of everything. Basically got one of everything on the menu. Are we missing out on anything that we need the to try? The only thing you don't have is tortilla soup, but it's a hot day. Yeah. And tamales. So. I'm already getting sweaty, you yeah, know? Yeah, so. I, I'm not going to recommend hot <laughs> <soups>. <laughs> Appreciate that. But it is good. Okay, maybe on a cold day we come back. Uh, yeah. We turn into like a soup stand, basically. Really? Really. That's yeah. what's up. All right, this is 52 Honestly, for all that, not bad. If we were in LA, this would be 100 plus. Uh, and we'll call your name when that's ready. All right, my man. Cheers. First brewski in Nashville. And you already know we had to do a Mexican beer. Okay, so I'm gonna give you guys the straight up vibes. Just being in this spot, like, I'm getting the Mexican vibe here. Like, it definitely feels like some spot you would find in LA when it comes to Mexican food. That's not me. I wish it was, but I'm getting good Mexican vibes here so far. I will say one thing, okay? This is, I'm half white, so I can say this, but most of the people working here, from what I'm seeing, are Caucasian. I don't know what's in, who's cooking in the back. Maybe got, they got the Latinos back there and they're cooking this food. Fingers crossed, because that's the best type of Mexican food is coming from one. I will say, oh, there it's us. <laughs> I will say it's ready. <laughs> that's a good thing to say. All right, you guys, let's see if Jake's gonna be able to hold all this. Look at him, he got it all, man. He's a man of skill. All in one go? <laughs> Second beer, I ain't even done with the first. The food came out, I'm gonna be straight up honest with y'all. Most of it looks pretty good. The one thing I will say is the tacos, like the tortilla isn't a, a classic street taco. This is like the tortillas that you would get at a market. Just yeah, Ralph's. Yeah. I will say it's very like uh, Tex-Mex. Tex-Mex, so like, 100%. It's not like very authentic. Maybe there are those spots, but this is the highest reviewed spot in our area. This so one we has- decided to pick this one over like a taco stand. You exactly, know? this one has literally like 1,600 reviews, close to five stars. So they obviously do something yeah. right, but if you look around at the people that are eating here, it's all, you know, it, you're not seeing your classic Latinos here. We've been here for about an hour and I haven't seen one, one I, haven't, I haven't even seen one walk in the street, no, so we're yeah, the only yeah, ones. So we're good, we're good. We're gonna start with the appetizers whoa, 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 whoa. and the worker. I need to go to the bathroom. Yeah. Okay, uh, we sorry. gotta wait. I'm sorry, we, uh, c come with me guys, come with me. And this is Jake's bathroom review. Okay, so it's nice. I was expecting a man and a woman, but there's not, it's just, El baño, and they can kind of see through if they really look. Like I can see out. But toilet, mirror, bathroom, simple but efficient. All right, back to the food. Okay, now that you're back, oh. let's start eating, okay? So we're gonna start with our appetizers here. We got our sweet plantains here. I thought these were um, cactuses when I first thought, but it's just banana. It's, it's a sweet, banana. It's a sweet banana. With a sweet I, cream. I was reading it a little bit wrong. So it has a sweet cream on it. It's like a, I don't know. Oh, I fire. The cream? It's like a cinnamon on a cinnamon roll. I was gonna say kind of cinnamon guy. That too. Both equally sweet. Mm, that's good. Plantains are fire. So fire. One thing I can say and I can respect is they give paper plates. It's not Americanized enough where they're giving you nice plates. It's still street enough that you're getting paper plates. That's Latino as fuck. Yeah, that's <laughs> I, I only use paper plates at my place. When it comes to elote, fools, I've been eating elotes on the streets since I was a child. The palatero man would roll up, he'd serve it just like this. It would yeah. be a lot bigger though, but this one's a little fatty, it's like a chode. Yeah. I can respect it, so I'm gonna take a bite. If you consider that a chode, I bet you got a good mouth. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, that looks so good. Oh, man. That's good, you love that. The cotija cheese on top, fuego. Perfectly good corn. It needs more butter, though. I don't know, man. I think it's oh, pretty so vicious. Good. Like, that's pretty good. Like, I don't think it needs anything else on that. And it's got a little bit of the, the chili powder on top. Make it a little bit spicy, but not too much. 
the difference from the guy that walks the streets, those are boiled. This one's grilled. Grilled. Oh, that makes a huge difference. That, so you get a little charred to it. That's respected. Honestly, it makes it a little bit different, but that gives me also that Tex-Mex vibes. Yeah. Maybe we should have waited on the corn, because now it's all stuck in my teeth. It is what it is, you know? We're going to go for the unwrapped tacos first, OK? Because so it's they're already open. Tilapia tacos. That's what we're going to start with. So check this out, you guys. You guys already have a close-up, but damn. With these tilapia tacos, there's not a lot in there. You know, you got your cabbage. I think that's cabbage, I believe. You got some onions in there, the coriander, and a straight, straight just tilapia. That's it. I'm going to put a little bit of this green sauce on there just to get a little. I just didn't know which one to do with Get this. a little action. They serve the sauce. I figure put it on. Now we got to lime it up, Jake. What are you, what are you even doing? I already did lime oh, he already, he's one step ahead. You take too long. You All right, here talk. we go. I talk. I'm a talker. Not bad, but it's a lot of tortillas. Like, with the fried fish, makes it almost just too much for me to even handle. Like, I can barely even, I want to rip a tortilla off so I can experience this. I know. It's not bad. It's not bad. It's very Americanized. Baja Fresh vibes. Baja Fresh vibes, dude. If you don't have a Baja Fresh, I got cute doba. Mm. Cute doba vibes. Yeah, it's got, it's like that, uh, what is that, tartar sauce or something in there? Yeah. It's, it's all right, you guys. This one's super Americanized. I'm, I'm ready to jump into the real tacos. The next one on our list here is the chicken taco. This one is very basic as well. All I see in it is chicken with some salsa verde and then the, obviously the coriander. It looks like there is some kind of white sauce. I think that's just like the chicken that they cook it in. I don't know. I don't know, but I dunked mine with salsa because I have a feeling it's gonna be eh. It is nice like chunks of chicken, like shredded chunks. So it looks like they just shredded up a rotisserie. It looks like you go to Costco or you go to Ralph's, you buy that rotisserie chicken and you just ripped off a couple pieces, so. A little better. We're getting there. The thing I don't like though, there's not a lot of meat in there. It's, it's kind of like subliminal meat, but they try to overpower you and try to fill you up with the tortilla. That's why they're double wrapping it. But also, the tortillas are thick. I could slap you in the face with this and knock you out. Don't do that. <laughs> like, I'm, I'm going back for the alote. I need a couple more bites. Well, I think the best thing we've had so far is this elote. I will say right off the bat, you could eat at the sketchiest taco shop in LA and it'll still be better than this. You gotta understand though, we're, we're a far away from LA. LA is really close to Mexico. It has a lot of people migrating over there. They have like authentic Mexican well, food here. I love Tennessee already. Maybe we make our own Mexican spot because we know what is good and we're only gonna deliver the best. We're Think gonna about take it. all these places for, take their, all the money. We'll take, we'll take them all down to the ground because no one is doing what I have visions for. If you live in Tennessee, would you come to our Mexican spot? I don't have a name for it yet, but I feel like it's gonna be fire. So look at this. I wanna show you guys, just so you can see. Look how much meat versus tortilla action there is. What is that, man? Like, I have so much room with just tortilla. Yeah, it's literally like I can swallow without chewing that. Like, that's just despicable, honestly. I would find a third salsa over here. Oh, dude, you, you were hiding the salsa verde? That was the pork one. That's pretty good. This is the pork one, you guys. You guys know, I'm on a diet, I'm shredding, so I'm trying to like not eat as much carbs if I don't have to. And keep in mind, these tacos are three bucks a taco. Like, that's not bad. Like in LA, you're paying like six bucks a taco. Everything's That's half true. price here. That one was really good. I'm, I'm actually proud to be American for that one. I'm still trying to finish my first beer so I can get to my second, you guys. Woo! All right, this one right here is the dos perros. Dos perros, which dos means perros. two dogs. Oh, and look at it, they got dos perros con yeah, la It's pretty good. Has a, little, has a little zinger at the back. Ooh, yeah, it almost tastes like a like a Mexican beer with like a IPA, oh, how it has that little zing to it. A little hop to it. A little hop. It's, and honestly, these perros are hopping, fool. That's probably why. They're hopping to the moon, fool. <laughs> yeah, it's bottled in Nashville, Tennessee. That's respect. That's respect. I, I gotta support when I'm here, you know? Oh, we this still one. got so many more tacos. Yeah, yeah, last taco. This is the last one. Okay, so this is the one I'm looking the most forward to, guys. This is the carne asada con mole. So usually I don't like mole, but it's because of that Austin Powers movie. Mole, 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 mole. <laughs> mole, 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 mole. Every time I see mole, I think of that. Spare me a little of that, man. Okay, this also has uh, little pieces of corn in there as well. They're stepping up the garnishes. Yeah, they're stepping up the garnishes for real. You know, someone said in the comments, they said, Jake, what's it like eating with a parrot? Because I copy what you say after you say it. <laughs> Whoever said that. All right. What's it like eating with a parrot? It's pretty annoying. <laughs> Cheers. Oh, that was good. It's not like messing in. Like, no, this is bad. 
None of this. The, the, the closest thing was the elote. Well, how do you mess that but up? But it's really tasty on its own, though. I'm, I don't want to like sit here and say like it's not good because it's really good. It's just not Mexican food. There's definitely a gringo in the back cooking it up. You know what I mean? Like you can taste it. There's no authenticism in it. But with that being said, like it's still pretty good. I mean, I will say, if I lived out here and I was dating the whitest country priest's daughter. Yep, yep. I would take her here because I know she would enjoy it. She would think this is legit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I wouldn't take her to my restaurant. Oh, if you, you know? took her to yours, she'd fall in love, fool, because <laughs> ours is going to be next level. We're going to only import the best meats from Mexico. Like, we're not going to be getting no... Like, you know, you got to think. How many people have farms and acres here? They're killing a cow and they're taking the meat from Nashville. We're going to be killing cows in Mexico. It's going to be all Mexican imported meat. It's going to be top of the line. Everything's imported from Mexico, fool. This interests me a lot because there's a string that is holding it together tied together. Oh, yours was in the middle. Mine was on the top. She said there was chicken tinga inside. So chicken tinga, not tinga. I said chicken tinga. What kind of thing is it? I, it's just a tinga. Let's unwrap this thing. Mine wasn't wrapped pretty good. Yeah, I almost feel like they wrap it after the fact. Like they just get the, the, oh no, there we go. Okay, look at that. This is what we're rocking with inside. I will say it looks pretty good. <laughs> Let's hope this is great. Let's hope. It takes so long. I'm trying to grab it, dude. Okay, here we go. I don't know. I've had better frozen tamales, to be honest. From Costco. From Costco, bro. Maybe it was, I don't know. Like, yeah, it can be freshly wrapped, but who the f is wrapping it? Who's cooking it in the back? Who's making it? Who's putting the ingredients together? I honestly don't think there's a single Mexican that works here. No way. We're just fine. No worries, we're not hating. We're half, we're half white too. I was just really expecting like Mexican food. I was thinking with the reviews, like this was top of the line Mexican food in Nashville. But now I get what you guys are saying. But with all that being said, it's still fire Mexican food. It's just like, it's fire for the South. Yeah. We're not from the South, we're from the West. And in the West, we got gas on every corner. Gas. <laughs> Well, you see the fools they make in their stands on every corner out there. Sometimes it's easier to find a taco stand than a gas station. <laughs> <laughs> it's definitely easier to find a taco stand than it is to find a, a good woman. <laughs> <laughs> That's for sure. That's what LA does not have good, good women. <laughs> good tacos. Yeah. Fire tacos though. Someone commented on one of my posts saying, this is why we love tacos because tacos will never break your heart. And I said, hey, amen to that. Amen. All around though, I would still rate this place. Like, I'd probably give it, like, if I was leaving a Yelp review, I'd give it four four stars because it's still good for it's what it is. It's still good food. It's just, I'm looking for authentic Mexican. That's, that's right. not if it. If you're coming here with the expectation that you're going to get authentic street tacos and stuff like that, just get rid of that idea altogether. But if you want good white girl tacos, this is the place. This is the place. This is definitely a spot that I would come back to living here if my shop isn't open yet. And there's shop. no flights tonight. <laughs> <laughs> We're already yeah. seeing so obnoxious. Okay. Either way, I still with the place. I'm not I gonna lie. Too. It's I a good too. place. It's a good place. Good vibes. Nice people. Good beers. This I like this beer. I'm gonna find this wherever I go to the liquor store and bring some back to my Airbnb. So let's get out of here. So there you have it. We tried Mexican food in the South, but how do you think street Asian food is in the South? Let's find out in the next video. If you enjoyed it, smash the thumbs up. Pick up the merch, brandshow.com, and I'll see you later. Peace. You know my friend. Cause friends stick together to the end Then you go and stab me in the back And then pretend that I'm the bad guy Then you ask why